unboxing of the Belkin the wireless charging pads 10 watts okay so it's good for well boost charge but Apple Samsung and the devices well Ah, uh, so, wow, it's, okay. So I bought this because I got an iPhone 11 in 2020. Didn't get the iPhone 12, didn't get the iPhone 12 Pro, didn't get the iPhone 12 Max, I got an iPhone 11. Uh, but it's a big step up for me because I'm just coming from iPhone 7. <laughs> so this is my first time getting the full screen experience man i'm jealous of you. you guys have been having it up to date but anyway that video is coming soon so this is the wireless charging pad so now i can do wireless charging so i want to experience it i also have my airpod pros um, and since i need to charge them i just think if i had a pad uh, that is a wireless pod can have a wireless phone now so i might as well use them to charge it um so that's the reason i got it so let's let's get into it quickly guys let's unbox it uh, okay how can i do this with one hand without a knife to okay i'm in now so let's check this out yeah, And um, nothing in there, just the box. Uh, instruction. And you got the pad. Okay, um, it's like a palm size. Not bad actually. Really, really light. Got somewhere to sleep there and to sleep, so I can stay steady. Um, then I to sleep here. I think that's for your phone. Then I can put my AirPod Pro, so you can actually see the size like that. So if that's your AirPod Pro, so it's almost um, one and a half across, one and a half across, yeah, or two. But then you have almost one, two, three, three and change. So that would be a good way of charging it. Okay. Just gonna plug it in just to see how it looks like, guys, and see how it works. Okay. Okay, I've plugged that in, and here you go. You've got like a pin, not USB C, not lightning conductor. You've got this. Oh my god, I, I didn't see that actually. Uh, I bought this in Corries. Uh, this is UK, so I bought it in Corries. Uh, $29.99, 30 quid. Um, so I'm just gonna plug that in and see how it works. Okay, there you go. It's plugged in. Uh, let's see if that charges. Oh yeah, charging, as you can see. Light is on. And there's another light here saying that it's charging. Okay, I've taken it off and the light is off. And if I do that, light's on. Charging lights on. So that's cool. That's nice. <laughs> I like that. Uh, let me find another phone to put on this. Uh, 
I'm going to take um, my wife's phone and put it on it and see how that goes. But looking nice at the moment. That's my phone. Uh, let's go in there. See what happens. Okay, nothing yet. Need to balance it a bit. Oh, it's not charging. So it's not, it, you need to balance it a bit, uh, but it's not hard if you just make sure that the, the center is roughly, if it's roughly aligned, so obviously that's the phone. If I put that place there, it's not gonna charge. So no charge there, as you can see. And if I do that, obviously no charge, you know. If I put it out, but if I just can just somewhere around that shows that it's in the center, then it starts charging. So yeah, that's that's the broken. This is pretty cool and nifty. Um so yeah, nice guys. So this is actually not bad. Um it says it was 10 watts. Apparently for iPhones it doesn't don't do more than 7.5, especially like um, iPhone 8 and then 11 and 12 says it does 15 with the proprietary uh, MagSafe charge. Uh, but I think this one will just be 7 watts actually. And as you can see here, it tells you the phone is compatible with, works with iPhone 11, 11, 10, 10, 10, 8. And then the Samsungs. So yeah, it should be a good one. Um, if it's 7.5, it's not bad actually, because the normal Apple charge is like about five watts. So 7.5 is not bad. So yeah, um, that's the unboxing and using it. So I'll let you guys know in future in about six months time whether it lasts, if it's still good, and what people should do. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe.